I became a scientist because I love exploring and being on a frontier, but I always thought it would be an intellectual frontier. If you ever get the chance, take a dive in a submersible and turn out the lights. It's a star field. All of these stars just swirling around you. My first dive, I was just blown away. I felt like this has to be one of the most important processes down here. There's all this light communication going on, and I wanted to understand it. I had a pretty traditional career lined up, but the submersible dive changed everything. Because of my interest in light and vision in the ocean, I've gotten involved in more and more squid expeditions, but it's always from the perspective of vision and bioluminescence. Right now, we're off the coast of Chile in the Humboldt Current, which is appropriate because we're looking for Humboldt squid. A lot of the time I've spent in submersibles, I've always been wondering about what's out there that I'm not seeing because we're scaring it away. We go down with exploration platforms that have these big bright lights on them and these very noisy thrusters. And of course we're scaring animals away. And so I wanted to be unobtrusive to see how the animals behave in their natural habitat. So I wanted to use red light that would be invisible to these deep sea animals that see primarily only blue light. And then I didn't want to just put bait down. Humboldt squid are not scavengers. So I developed an optical lure that imitates a particular deep sea jellyfish display that's called a burglar alarm. If an animal is caught by a predator, then it will use every light it's got in the hopes of attracting the attention of a larger predator that may attack its attacker. That's the theory behind the e-jelly, and that's what got the first video footage ever recorded of a giant squid in its natural habitat. I've tried a bunch of different things over the years to try to be able to talk to the animals. And with the e-jelly, I feel like I'm, I'm finally making some progress. It's a super stimulus for the squid. It was just amazing the different types of behaviors we were seeing. Curiosity is who we are. I definitely consider myself to be an ocean explorer. That's been a big part of my career. And I feel incredibly privileged to have been able to do that.